you see there is a breadboard and you have a power supply and you have the multimeters, everything in position. Now let me try to do two types of experiment. One in which I'm going to vary the voltage input. I take a variable voltage source as an unregulated voltage source and I want to vary this voltage and find out what happens to the output voltage. Will it remain constant? Now, uh, then the second experiment would be I will keep this voltage constant and vary the value of the load and see what happens. So these two are called two different characteristics of a regulated voltage supply. One is called the line regulation when I change the input voltage and see whether the output remains constant is called line regulation and when I change the load and keep the input constant then it becomes a load regulation. So the line regulation and the road load regulation are two important uh, characteristic of a good regulated power supply. So that is what we will just do first as an experiment. Later on, we'll try to understand a little more in, about these things. Now let me quickly switch on the power supply. Uh, first, uh, let me choose the experiment and then I'll switch on the power supply. So now I've switched on the voltmeter, everything. There is eight volts applied at the input and this resistance is about 120 ohms in this case and the zener is about 4.9 volts and I have connected a load 250 ohms, you can see. And at this end, I have connected a current meter, multimeter in the current range, and I'm measuring the low voltage across the load using a multimeter, and that is now. Uh, now let me see. So when I increase the voltage to 9 volts here, you can see the output remains constant at 4.9, and the current is 34 milliampers. How do I get 34 milliampers? This is 4.9 volts and this is 250 ohms. If you divide 4.9 volts by 2, uh, uh, okay, this current is actually the series current which is flowing through the RS and that is actually given by V input minus Vz divided by 120 ohms. Vz, v input is 9 volts, Vz is 4.9 volts or 5 volts and difference is about 4 volts divided by 120 ohms that is what is obtained as the current here. Now if I increase it to 10 volts you can see still the current is increasing but the voltage remains constant. When I go to 11 volts also you find the output voltage remains constant at 4.9 volts. So I varied over a range of values from 8 volts to 12 volts and you find the output voltage remains constant and the, the series current, the series current through the RS is changing depending upon the input voltage that I change, but the Zener voltage remains constant. So this can be used for regulating a unregulated power supply. Now that means, now we'll let me move on to the second part which is basically to change the load, keeping the input voltage constant at 10 volts, I'm going to change the load resistances to some fixed values of resistors here and find out what happens to the output voltage. So let me switch on the power supply and the multimeters. The same circuit that I used previously, now I have a fixed voltage of 10 volts applied at the input and you have a RS of 120 ohms and a Zener diode corresponding to 4.9 volts and this is a, now you can see, I will let me first connect a 100 ohm resistor as the load. So you have 4.9 divided by 100 volts, that is what you get as the current here, 42.5 milliamperes. Now if I, instead of 100 ohms, if I change it to 1K, now you would find it is about, uh, what happened, 42.5 milliamperes and if I connect 10K, right, now I connect 100 ohms, yeah, uh, the current meter is actually connected in series with the RS, it is not the load current which I am measuring, therefore even though I change the value of the resistors, you would find the current is not changing here because that is this current which is being measured which is in series with the RS. So you can in principle put a current meter in series with the load also, then you would find the load current will keep on changing depending upon the value of the resistor that I connect here. 
So now I move on to another resistor 10 K you would find the voltage remains constant and if I put 100 K still it will be constant because as I increase the current here the load current will decrease and therefore the total current will be divided here some part will move through the Zener diode and the rest will flow through the load resistance. If I increase the load resistance, more of the current will flow through the Zener diode, less current will flow through the load resistor. So you must make sure that this bifurcation of the current, input current, through these two does not exceed the maximum value of the current that is possible through the Zener diode corresponding to the power.